Alright guys, I'm going to show you what happens when you got to do an update to an ECM. I know that there's one out there, so I'm going to plug this truck in and should be able to show you how it automatically is show you that there is one and how to go about doing that. Um, we have the ignition key on, truck is not running. Let's go up here in our Insight program to connect to ECM. Then come back down and collect on connect again. <clears throat> and after a couple seconds here she should pop right into the program into the ECM on the truck um, and I'll just kind of hopefully show you the quick way of doing it if everything goes the way it should okay now it came into the actual program here and uh, like I said it should pop there it is popped up right away and it'll go through and it'll tell you that there is an update, you know, so on and so forth. Um, very simple, just go right here on the bottom left where it says save. Click on save. It's going to save it into your, into your computer here in the program. Very self-explanatory. Um, once it saves in, it'll stop doing its little thinking thing here. You can exit out of it. And like that, go on over here to exit. Um, then this is what I do, some people don't, but uh, I always go in here to features and parameters first. Um, sometimes, depending on the trucks, you'll, uh, you'll have multiple ECM codes with the updates, and you could always click on the wrong one. Probably uh, wouldn't do anything, truck would still run. Um, I like to do it this way so that way you know you got the right ECM code for the correct ECM that's in the truck. And like I said, most of the time it'll work. Um, but you just go up here to your system ID, open that tab up, and then just go down here to ECM information. Real simple. And then uh, you'll go right down to right here where it's ECM part number. And you'll see your part number on the right hand side there. And then I just click back on features and parameters to get that out of the way. Remember your uh, part number. And then you just go down to your calibration section. And then uh, once you're in here, you just click in here to get it open. It'll pop up. Go in here where your calibration workspace is. Keep opening it up automotive and there it is now right here is your two different um, ECMs and like I said usually both will work but just to be on the safe side open it up and double check everything and then once it all opens up it'll look like this got a whole bunch of shit in there that you don't really need but uh, the cheating way of doing this if you go all the way up to the top and you'll see a little piece of paper here with a check mark and then right to the right of it there's another one it says show installed calibrations if you click on that all of it disappears except for the one that you can actually put into your ECM so you click on that click enter takes a minute but then she should just pop up and start going right through it go down and click that click on next and then next again next again and then here it tells you you're about to make changes don't do anything unless told so and click ok and then uh, basically you're just going to do whatever the computer tells you to do and I'll pause this so you don't have to watch it because it's kind of boring Okay, then it's going to come up to a prompt here. Turn your key switch off. Then click OK. Then sit and wait some more. And then when it's done here, it prompts you to turn the key back on. Once you let it cycle through, then go ahead and click OK on that. Then here it tells you everything is good, successful, press OK. 
then here it takes a little bit but then uh, on the bottom here it'll tell you to go click on next once that pops up you're pretty much at the end of it here to where you got her done um, this is where it'll tell you if something has a problem it'll pop up prompt you that there's an issue but nine times out of ten there ain't and there it goes where it pops up here then click on your next then here you can go right to finish then you just gotta wait a little bit another prompt to come up saying that it's all done and then that's pretty much all there is to uh, doing an update on the ECM program um, and like I said, just click again on your calibration section. That'll pull that all out of there. And then you can go ahead and click disconnect from the ECM and you're all done. Uh, any more questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Or if you want to see a video about something else, I can do my best. I know I'm going to, was asked to do a video on a, a Ford Power Stroke 6.4. Uh, it's got a dead cylinder. It actually blew the piston apart from what I'm told and... I'm going to put hair into that and probably build a build a motor for that one. Um, if that's something you guys are interested, you know, let me know and I'll try and post videos on that. Uh, thanks for watching.